everyone, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today I'm back with another video for you guys. Um, this figure that I'll be reviewing is basically from the series Glitter and Glamorous. It is the Nico Robin Dress Rosa style by Ben Presto. So it's basically a Robin in, in the attire that she wore during the, during the uh, Dress Rosa up. Um, I previously did the review for the Hancock figure. Um, this one is the next one in the series which is Nico Robin. And it's the third one. And uh, before that, there was Nami too, but I didn't manage to get that yet. And there are a few more coming out, including um, Jewelry, Bonnie, and Reju. Reju Vinsmoke. Alright, so let's take a quick look at the box first. Um, it's pretty similar to... It's pretty similar to the Hancock one. Uh, you just have this image of the figure going on and some description. And the title of the series and the name of the figure at the top. Okay, this is side view. Another image, this is the other side, more photos and more pictures of the figure and other, more, other descriptions as well. This is the back, well I think it's a little bit different from the previous one. So as you can see there's actually, there's actually two versions, um, one with the white hat thingy on and the second one without. So this is the one that I got, this is actually the special version, this is the normal version. Okay, so usually this one will be, the, the B version will be slightly more rare. Okay, and uh, the top, just uh, a toy sticker, golden toy sticker over here for intensity. And that's why for the box, I haven't taken it out yet, so we're going to be doing the unboxing today, right now. Let's go. <laughs> So um, I got the figures. We got the figure parts all taken out. Um, there's actually three pieces. I'm not sure if you catch that during the unboxing video that you can see how how ridiculously they packed it in this in this huge ass box when the parts are so small and just and they just tuck it into basically one compartment of the one compartment inside the box. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, yep, there's three parts. Um, it's it's probably pretty simple to assemble them, uh, but I'm just gonna talk about the features first or the head because it's easier for all of us to review. When I can bring up closer to that due to my camera limitations. So let's take a look at the head first. I I think first off I really like um, the face. It seems a little bit sharper, like her chin. Seems to be a little bit sharper uh, than the photo, but I guess more or less the 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 face is really really well done. I, I get a feel of I get a look of, of Robin, and I'm a huge fan of Robin, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, this her her after time skip uh, sunglass glasses are on. It's it's glued on, so you can't take it off. But I guess you have to be really careful not to hit it. If not, you have to glue it back yourself. And uh, another thing is about the hair. I think they did a great job with the hair. It shows lots of volume with the flowing and curly hairstyle. And, thinks, and I think that makes Robin a lot, a lot attractive. Okay, so um, if you go into details, you can really see like uh, her, her, her lips, lipstick is actually painted on. I can see a little bit of her mouth. Um, the ears. Alright, I think that's all for, for the head. And um, for the body wise, um, let me just bring the camera up a bit. 
for the body wise, uh, this is look at the, the shoes first. The shoes they're actually painted with um, a kind of a, a glossy black paint, and of course you see some some marks on the figure, but that is expected because it's after all a price figure. You don't expect top quality, top 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 like you know that kind of like near perfection quality figures. So, but I still think the paint job is really excellent. It's really beautiful. Okay, and um, for the upper torso, one thing you can see, it's basically this groove line that connects the elbow. That exists at the elbow that I think connects this part to this part of the figure. So this is really, really obvious. I think they could have done something about that, you know, to make it not so, not so distinct. Um, probably, are there... There's another groove line over here as well. This is similar to the one that is in the Hancock figure, but this is not as not as serious as the one over here. Okay, and um, another some other lines here at the hand as well. Can you see that? Okay, but more or less, I guess the shape of the body, it's really. Well done, you can see the, the curvatures of, of Robin, even the back, the bit of back muscles, I really like the detail, um, the, the, the contrast, the colour shading on, on the on the colour of a, of a dress, which is, the, which is painted with a kind of a glowy, you know, blue, dark blue paint kind of as well. And of course you can see her, you can see her underwear, if you're interested in that. Okay, um, this, the top, top part, this is basically glued on, but there are two parts of the dress that it's not connected to, you, can, you could actually flip it up, so you're going to be very careful with that. And this is of course her other hand. And I think her chest itself is quite, well I think they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't overdo it with the size, which most figures tend to do, so I guess that's okay. Alright, I'm gonna put a figure together now. Alright, so um, the head just goes on like that. I think. Okay, like that. So this is how Robin looks. Okay, let me just move the box away and it's a little bit flimsy so I'm, if you put it at certain angles it can't really stand on its own but this is fine you can see that this this part of the heels is actually off the table but this is how she looks like and if you're wondering this is the base I'm not sure which leg of hers this is supposed to go on um, we can try it out later, but for now I'll just show a quick 360 so you can see the full pose of Robin. Okay, and I think it's supposed to be displayed in this way, with her turning to her back. Alright, and um, yeah, I think I think it's kind of weird. Like uh, now, I, now that I put it up, it's kind of funny how she is able to contort her body. To a turn like that, it actually looks kind of painful. Oops. Oh well, but I think it still looks really nice with the with the curves they did with her body and the Robin expression that they did. Pretty amazing because we don't we don't really get too many like wonderful Robin figures outside of the Poultry of Pirates line. Alright, so let me just figure out how to put this base on and find which feet it's supposed to go on to. I think it might be... Um, not having much luck here, trying to figure it out. But I'm just gonna go with a... a 
with a try on left leg. And this is probably how she looks like and this is how you can make the figure more stable. So it's really really up to you. Okay, and right now I think uh, I'm going to bring out some of my other figures so you can do a little bit of high comparison. Stay Robin, stop moving. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright, so this figure is actually really really tall. It's about 10 inches, around 25 cm. And this is this is the height that you can expect from this series. And uh, on my left, I have the Zora from Creator X Creator, uh, the series. And here, Gear 4 from Gear 4 Louis from the S Cultures Colosseum. So just a little bit of you know, comparison if you're looking at, at scale kind of figures, how you want to display them. Um, this is also around the same height as those sitting down versions that I own. Um, yep, and can do a little bit of scale, scale comparison with these two two figures. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in my king of artists, Sanji, and the glitter and glamorous Hancock. So basically, this is Hancock first. Uh, I do not own Nami yet, and. I think this is how they look like together if you happen to own both figures pretty cool yeah, I think if you're Nami on this side you'll look like really beautiful and awesome trio right but for now I'm gonna bring in Sanji too which is from the King of Artists series because I'm gonna make him happy between these two ladies beautiful ladies alright and uh, Sanji is of course uh, from a, from different series, but it's around the same height as the Master Stars piece. So usually, if you get this kind of figures together, they will look pretty good with one another. All right, and okay. So last but not least, I'm gonna bring in all my Portrait of Pirates Nickel Robin figures that I own. So you're gonna give me a while on this one. Sealing again. Filmzy Strong World And of course The first ever version And the first ever Portrait of Pirates that I own Of Robin And I think, wow I'm really, really a big Robin fan. So, it's kind of amazing to see them all together. I think they actually look really good with one another like that. Even though this is for the Portrait of Pirates uh, series. So, let me know what you think. This is all I have uh, for, this, for this review. And I think that, I think that any, any crazy Robin fan will definitely get his figure. And if, and if not, you're just looking for something amazing to add to your collection. This is something that you will like to get. Alright, so thank you so much for, for supporting me, for, for um, you know, watching this video. So if you, if you like it, just like, the, just like the video, you can ask me any questions in the comment section and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see all of you again. Goodbye.